Oh my goodness. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. The Disney parks are going to be changing here forever. Disney World, Disneyland, beyond. D23, the parks panel and experiences has just happened. I cannot wait to break it down. This is unbelievable. I was getting live updates of the event and I cannot wait to share you guys in this video here today. Let's have a discussion down below. What do you guys think? For those who know and for those who don't, I have you covered. But before we get on into the parks and the, the experiences, I do wanna say what I'm really excited about what happened actually on Friday, the, the movies that Disney had announced that I'm very, very excited for that are coming. First of all, it appears that Disney is just pretty much making sequels and I'm okay with that because the number one sequel that I'm looking forward to is Incredibles 3. We don't have a timeline when Incredibles 3 is gonna be uh, coming to the theaters, but I am just happy that they are bringing Incredibles 3. We have Toy Story 5 coming in 2026. Crazy, Toy Story 5. We have Zootopia 2 coming November 25th. Not this year, next year, 2025. Frozen 3, 2027, got a while for that one. Disney released the name of the next Avatar, which is gonna be Avatar Fire and Ash coming 2025. And then the one that I'm very excited about, we have Tron coming October 2025. Enough of the movies, we're here to talk about the parks, especially Disney World. Now before we start talking about everything, I do want to put this out there just so you guys kind of know. Hopefully this isn't just a hype train and we actually do get shovels in the ground because that's what I want the most. I don't want these promises that are never going to come into play. So hopefully everything that Disney did announce, we are going to have a go with, and it's all gonna come true. Buckle on up, D23 was a good one. I hope you guys are excited as Disney fans. Let's break it down. Here is what's coming to Disney World, hopefully soon. Let's go, everybody. Let's dive into it because I feel like this is what us Disney fans have been waiting for this D23. We have shovels in the ground. This is gonna be an amazing next five years. Get ready, get ready, because I feel like the timeline is gonna be 2027 to 2030 for pretty much all of this. And we do have some years for some major announcements. Everything that Disney has announced tonight is going to happen. They actually put it in every single article. Here is Josh Tomorrow's words. Everything is going to happen. It's just a matter of when and how fast they're going to do it. It's a boundless future is what they're saying. And I think it's going to happen fast. Uncle Jesse kicked off the event with some nice singing, some nice, you know, just getting that Disney feel and the Disney touch in the air. As you guys know, it's the 70th anniversary is next year at Disneyland. Here's actually the logo for the 70th anniversary and Uncle Jesse did kick it off with, he was the one kind of basically saying, we're kicking off the, the anniversary right now. Over at Disneyland, more specifically California Adventure, we are going to be getting an Avatar experience. It's gonna incorporate the new movie, The Way of Water, a whole new location on Pandora. It's gonna be in the rainforest. It's not gonna be a carbon copy of what we see here in Florida at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's going to be brand spanking new. Again, it's inspired by the second movie, The Way of Water, and it's also gonna be inspired by the third movie, and this is going to be in a major, major attraction. I have a feeling it's gonna be where Grizzly Peak is, so I feel like that is gonna go away. I don't really know too much. No one really knows too much. We can just speculate on where it's going to go. That's kind of my guess. You're gonna experience the majestic wonders on a boat ride in a grand scale. It's probably gonna be intense. A lot of people are saying it's just kind of like Shanghai's Pirates of the Caribbean. I personally don't know. I've never been to Shanghai, but it's going to be amazing and unfortunately with this we have no idea when it's going to come into play so that's why i'm kind of saying 2028 2030 for some of these uh, new attractions coming to the disney parks and boy was there a lot of them and there's a ton of it for walt disney world which is what i have been wanting and i feel like we're gonna be getting relatively soon Hold on, buckle up, there's so much more to talk about before, before we get to Disney World. Also, as we are talking about these, feel free to leave your input, your excitement down below, whatever it is. I, I, I just, I'm so blown away. That's all I have. I'm so blown away. We're gonna stay over in California Adventure because they are getting actually a new Coco inspired ride. I believe it's the first Coco attraction ever 
inside a Disney park. We're gonna travel through colorful expansion scenes in a big way. It's a boat ride and work is groundbreaking in 2026. Could that be also for Pandora? It could be. And then probably one to two years, 2028, maybe 2027, probably 2028. Again, I'm just speculating. I have no idea when this is gonna actually happen, but it's happening. And just a reminder, work is on its way underway for everything. D23 then moved on to the nighttime spectaculars and one of the best things is coming to the Magic Kingdom next year. We'll get that too and we'll get to that in a second. Next month, September 20th, Reach for the Stars at Tokyo Disneyland is going to be debuting. Characters like Big Hero 6 and superheroes from Marvel are going to be in that nighttime spectacular. One of the things I loved about this is that we had so many announcements for the domestic parks, which is what I wanted and which is what we have. And speaking of that, the Magic Kingdom summer of 2025, we're getting a new parade, but it's not a day parade, it is a nighttime spectacular parade. Disney Starlight is what it's called, and it's brought to light by the Blue Fairy. That is all we know. Can't wait to learn more, and I'm really excited that it's coming next year. We have been wanting a nighttime parade, obviously, at the Magic Kingdom, for multiple years, the last one the last one we had was the Electrical Magic Parade, which my grandpa loved so much, and I know a lot of you guys loved. Hopefully this one also lives up to the hype. Going on over to Disneyland Paris, the World of Frozen opens in 2026. Also, by the way, Disneyland Paris isn't known or gonna be known as Disneyland Paris anymore. It's gonna be called the Disney Adventure World, and over there, their new time, oh my gosh, nighttime spectacular, is gonna be by the Adventure Bay. It's gonna be 360 degree experience with lasers, with drones, all the Disney craziness. And Adventure Bay is what they're calling their gateway to all of the other lands. And boy, that was not it. Disneyland Paris is also what looks to be getting a type Splash Mountain Tiana's Bayou adventure ride, but Lion King themed. I bet you it's kind of gonna be just like Tiana's Bayou, but just themed to uh, the Lion King, which is insane. I believe there's no other attraction in the world that has anything to do with Lion King. So that is another first. I'm telling you, this is one of the best D23s ever. Some of this might be uh, kind of jumping around, but I'm just kind of following the outline that they did at D23. Because we're gonna head back to Disneyland for the 70th anniversary, they announced something pretty cool. They're creating a new show in the Main Street Opera, the Main Street Opera House. It's called Walt Disney, A Magical Life. And it's gonna be showing, I believe, exclusively for the whole 70th anniversary. And then once the 70th anniversary is done, um, Moments with Abraham Lincoln and this new show are going to just alternate. It's gonna be based in Walt's studio office and it's gonna share his hopes for a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. It's just, there's been so much content tonight that Disney has and this one has definitely lived up to the hype. Megan Trainer performed shortly after. Now we're getting to Disney World. Buckle up everybody because this change is happening this fall. Animal Kingdom, you know, it's no secret. The Tropical Americas is confirmed coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Dinoland is, is leaving. It's going extinct this fall, but it's gonna be closing in phases so you guys can enjoy Dino uh, Dinosaur one last time before it turns in to Indiana Jones. Now, I did actually have some concerns on what this was going to be, but I'm really happy to say that it is a brand new journey. It is a brand new ride. It's not like the one at Disneyland, so it's not a carbon copy. Love that, love that, love that, love that. Construction begins this fall, this fall. And they're not having one, they're having two signature attractions. So that Indiana Jones one is coming. It's a new story, takes place in an ancient Mayan temple that Indy has discovered and heard rumors of a mythical creature in it, and he's gonna take us in. And you know, nothing bad is probably gonna happen, right? But then, this is all gonna be in like a new town. Forgot what the name of the town is, but I know it means Village of Hope. It's in a rich rainforest, and the buildings are all classical Spanish style. There's gonna be new food, and there's actually gonna be a carousel ride. Gonna have wood, carved Disney animals from Disney stories. So a nice little kittle ride. I think that's probably gonna go probably where like the, the old Boneyard was or soon to be old Boneyard. And then the next big attra attraction, everybody knows, 
It is Encanto. And it is the first major attraction based on Encanto. We're gonna walk up to the house and the house is actually going to be alive. So I think the house on the outside is gonna have some moving parts, which is gonna be pretty cool. Kind of similar maybe to Nintendo Land. You know, like the moving parts. Now what is going on inside this attraction is it's Antonio's birthday where he receives his magical gifts when he can communicate with animals and now the house has now brought furniture to life and we're gonna see all the Encanto characters probably go on some crazy journey we're gonna see Bruno and then we're gonna end up in Antonio's room at the whole shebang the end of the ride and hopefully it's gonna be a good time and it's coming 2027 so that means they got what about like two to three four years to get this complete three years two to three years I had hoped that Dinoland was gonna close early. I didn't think Disney was gonna do it, but they are closing it, I mean, within the next couple months in fall. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of phases they do close it. I feel like the um, first thing that they're gonna close is probably like the carny stuff. Dinosaur is obviously gonna be the last thing to close, probably closing, I don't know, probably later in the year since they are gonna be doing phase closures but the good thing is it's opening 2027 could be early could be later in the year but we do have the year 2027 and that is not even close to everything that is coming to Disney World it's just actually insane guys I do want to stay here in uh, Animal Kingdom since we are getting that new Zootopia show which is going to be taking place of Bugs Life it's gonna be called Zootopia Better Zoogether <laughs> I love that name and that's gonna be coming next winter so 2025, yay. At this time during the show, we had a huge amount of announcements, more specifically over at Tiana's Bayou Adventure at Disneyland, which is gonna be opening up November 15th, right around the corner. We got some word on the new Epcot Lounge, which is gonna be in the Spaceship Lounge opening 2025, as well as that Pirates Lounge over at the Magic Kingdom. It's also opening in 2025. And you know what else is opening at 2025? Test Track, the updated version of test track. No idea when, we have no idea when, it's just 2025. This test track, we got some more information on what's gonna be happening. We're gonna celebrate the past, present, and future. The queue's actually gonna feature some distinct exhibits that are gonna celebrate vehicles and the people behind the scenes who create the vehicles. There's gonna be some new scenes that will be added throughout to showcase like technology, and then it's, I mean, it's the same track, but it's gonna be obviously different since it's an overlay. But the big thing is, 2025, can't wait. Now this guys, I did not expect. We're gonna go to Hollywood Studios. For the past couple years, I've been saying like, obviously we've gotten Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, we've gotten Toy Story Land, and now we're getting another land. Monsters Inc. Monstropolis is coming to Hollywood Studios with a huge ride, a roller coaster. I'm gonna circle on back here real quick about Monstropolis because Monstropolis, the whole idea is that they obviously need laughter to power Monstropolis. We're gonna have a tour of the factory and then we're gonna go on the first ever suspended coaster in a Disney park. And we get to go through the doors like the first movie. And construction starts next year in 2025. But this brings up the big question, where is this going? in Hollywood Studios. I kind of have some thoughts. One thought, actually I have three thoughts. One thought is gonna be an animation courtyard. I actually have a picture right here where I think it's gonna go, potentially, but I don't think it is because they just announced like the new Little Mermaid show, but they didn't give us any more information. So that could be hinting that it is going in animation courtyard. And that's kind of like a very, I wouldn't say out of date, but it's obsolete in a way with how the whole park is operating. Could go there. It could go where Muppets currently is, and the Muppets, unfortunately, is gonna be going. I know a lot of you guys like the Muppets, but that could be another area, or it could be somewhere like in a parking lot outside of the current boundaries of the park. I think it's gonna be one of those three. But that was a big bombshell that we're getting at Monsters, Inc., a new land inside one of the best parks that Disney has offered, Hollywood Studios. And again, construction begins 2025. Wow. That's not even close to the biggest announcements, guys. This is insane. There's going to be, um, we're gonna stay inside Hollywood Studios because 2026, there's gonna be a new story for Millennium Falcon. Grogu and Mando are going to actually gonna have like a new, uh, it's gonna be a new experience. I don't know if we're gonna have the original or it's gonna all switch to this one. I don't know, but we're getting a new Millennium Falcon story, which is great. 
Real quick though, comment down below on what do you guys think so far because this was just probably one of the best things a Disney fan, I mean, personally, could ever witness, could ever hear about. It's it's gonna be a great next five years and I think everything's gonna be open by 2030 of what we're discussing, potentially. Maybe even sooner. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna go beyond 2030, but I could be wrong. And we do need to talk about what's beyond Big Thunder. Anyways, Hollywood Studios, cannot wait for that. I wanna talk about Disney Cruise Line. As you guys know, we cruise a lot here on the channel and there was a huge, huge announcement for Disney Cruise Line. We're gonna start small real quick. The Disney Treasure, which is coming this December, the stage show is gonna be Moana, and we have a 15 foot puppet of Takai. Taka? Takai? Taka? And it's the largest one Disney has ever made. That was cool. The show on the Disney Destiny, which is gonna be 2026, is going to be Hercules. But now the big announcement is, currently Disney has five ships at sea, and they have four in the works. Disney is going to be adding four more ships, totaling 13 entire ships that are gonna be here throughout the world by 2031. Those four additional are gonna be starting in 2027 and then go until 2031. Yes, cannot wait. Cannot wait. We love Disney Cruise Line, didn't expect that announcement, but they're ordering four more brand new ships after the four they're currently making. Then Disney went on to talk about Fortnite a lot. If you guys wanna watch Fortnite or look it up, you can. I actually don't even play Fortnite, so I don't really care. Shanghai Disneyland and Hong Kong Disneyland had some announcements, but I'm just kinda gonna shelf them because I've never been there. I want to talk about California Adventure because we're going back to California Adventure. More specifically, Avengers Campus because Avengers Campus is about to double in size. Two new rides are coming to Avengers Campus. The first ride is called Avengers Infinity Defense. It's a new attraction where we get to jump between worlds. The Stark technology that allows us to jump between worlds has gone missing and King Thanos is using it to wreak havoc. The new ride vehicle looks sick but also kind of reminds me of Spider-Man. It's gonna have new technology and it's gonna be in that back lot behind um, the current shop and where that show is in uh, Avengers Campus. We're gonna be going to places such as Wakanda, New York, and Asgard. It's, it's gonna be wild. It's currently under development and Disney said its construction process is potentially next year, but it probably is gonna be 2026. And then what, one to two years, 2029, 2030, who knows? Disneyland didn't really get any really like hardcore announcements as when everything's gonna be opening or starting construction. We didn't really get any of that. And then the second attraction, we're gonna be invited into Tony's workshop to Test some stuff, to test some stuff. Stark Flight Lab, it's called. It's gonna be a two-person type pod where we go in like test stations. It looks really interesting. I kinda can't wait to see it. But um, the cool thing about this attraction is it's gonna have some re-rideability because there's gonna be some different heroes taking you throughout this experience. It looks cool, so that's nice. No idea when, when that's opening, but what do you guys think? What do you think? It's really interesting they didn't really talk about Disneyland Forward, you know, the expansion of those parks. So I wonder if we're gonna get those. I mean, that's probably gonna be the next decade, 2030, 2035, since they didn't really say anything about it. Surprised about that. Now we're gonna fly on over to Disney World because this is just incredible. This is definitely a part of Disney's answer to Epic Universe, and boy, this is gonna be epic. So, I was a little bit worried about this one as well because Disney announced Cars Land is coming to the Magic Kingdom. Now before anybody says this is probably a bad idea, listen up. It's not a carbon copy what's over at California Adventure. It's a reimagined section of Frontierland. What will that be? It's not Radiator Springs. We're gonna be headed west to New Frontiers, Disney said. Two new attractions. The first one is an attraction where we rally and race through the mountains take on wild terrain throughout those mountains and geysers as well. Personally, I'm just really pumped that it's not a, a carbon copy of what's over at California Adventure. That was my biggest concern. Maybe it's gonna be the same ride layout, have no idea, but I'm just really happy it's gonna be something different and not a carbon copy. That That is like my biggest takeaway of this. I think it's gonna be in the back of Big Thunder Mountain, but it did say a reimagined area or like a reimagined frontier land. There's no way they have land where it is right now. So it's gotta go behind Big Thunder. 
But there's also a second attraction that's for like the little ones and the little families. The little, sorry, like the, like you get kiddos. And get this, construction on this is happening early next year. I do know Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is going down soon. We don't know when, but Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is actually gonna be getting like a huge update with their, their track. And this could technically be the start of the construction unless they're actually gonna break ground on this new Cars Land coming to Magic Kingdom. I can't believe even saying that the Cars Land is coming to the Magic Kingdom. Timeline, two to three years. 2028, 2029, they didn't really give anything. Because obviously this is all gonna take time. That's why I'm thinking like all this is gonna be completed by at least 2030. Hopefully a little bit earlier than 2028, 2029. But with something as big as this project is, it's gonna take a while. At least we know they're gonna get started and digging, which is good. But that is not it. <laughs> as you know, Disney likes to save something ginormous for the end, and they save something ginormous. Villains Land is coming to the Magic Kingdom. That is all we know. Have no idea where it's going, have no idea when that is starting, but they did announce it, and it's going to happen. Hopefully, it doesn't happen in five to 10 years. These are concrete ideas. I feel like they just don't have budgets for them, and I feel like that's like one of the biggest things, especially for Villains Land, which is, not having like a start date on when it's going to happen. But Disney said these are not blue sky. These are actually events. These are actually projects that are in the works and going to happen. Jones Land to me obviously makes sense to go behind Haunted Mansion. Maybe they're envisioning somewhere else. I have no idea. I don't know how big it's gonna be, but I feel like that would be a good spot, obviously as you're passing the mansion to go boom into Villains Land. Hopefully by 2030, It'll be completed. I have no idea. I'm just throwing this out there because, you know, why not try to guess when this stuff is gonna be opening? But unfortunately for Villains Land, we don't know when it's gonna happen, or meaning start, but we do know it's gonna happen. There's gonna be two new major attractions in Villains Land. There's gonna be dining, there's gonna be shopping. It's gonna be insane. So with all this, let me know your guys' comments down below, your guys' excitement. I'm just, I'm so happy. I. I, I can't even express on how excited and happy I am. Like Disney is is going, and hopefully they go soon on all of this. Especially, I'm a little bit worried about California, just because they didn't really do too many start dates. Especially about flight, of, uh, sorry, not flight of passage, about Pandora over there. But I feel like Disney World is about to get even better. It's about to get even better, and I cannot wait. And I hope you guys can't wait too. This is I'm a Disney I'm a Disney fan. If you guys didn't know. I love Disney and I'm so pumped for the future. This looks incredible, sounds incredible. And let's get to work. Let's get to work, Disney. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that was it for your daily dose. Love you guys. Let's go.